This image is a lie. It looks like a simple picture of the Trojan horse, but the image is actually a Trojan horse. It's carrying a secret document that is hundreds of words long. Now, this video is the next chapter in my deep dive into hiding data in plain sight. My journey started with cryptography, where I hid a message in a physical grid of black and white squares that you could actually see. But that was too obvious, therefore I took it a step further by hiding a secret inside something you could only hear by embedding a text file into the invisible fabric of a song using audio steganography. And now we've arrived here. For those of you who have been on this journey with me, I hope you don't think this is repetitive. You might be thinking, I get it. We're just going to change the last bit of something, right? And you're absolutely right. The core principle is the same, but the problems you have to solve are completely different. Hiding data in a constantly flowing sound wave is one thing, but how do you hide that same data in a perfectly still, static image without creating a single visible artifact? That was the intrigue and the urge that I had to pursue. So for anyone new here and for those of you continuing this journey with me, let's break this down how this works. Every digital image is just a grid of millions of tiny colored dots, or pixels, and each pixel's color is a recipe with three ingredients, red, green, and blue. Our computers see that number 188 for red as a sequence of ones and zeros in binary. In this case, this sequence. Now here's the entire trick. Look at the very last digit. It's called the list significant bit and changing it has an almost invisible impact on the final color. Watch, if I flip the last bit from a 0 to a 1, the red value only changes from 188 to 189. To our eyes, the color is identical. But for a computer, we just successfully stored one bit of information, which is either a 1 or a 0. Now this raises an obvious question. How much data can you actually hide in an image? The answer depends entirely on the image's size. Every pixel can hold a few secret bits. So the bigger the image, the more data you can hide. Let's break that down. A 1920 by 1080 image has over 2 million pixels. And each pixel has three color channels, red, green, and blue. If we only touch one bit in each channel, that's 3 bits per pixel. Multiply that out and you get roughly 6 million bits or roughly about 700 KB of secret data. That's nearly an entire small novel hidden inside a single image. Now if you go higher, the numbers get wild. A 4K image gives you around 3 megabytes of capacity, while an 8K image can hold over 4 times that, which is roughly 12 megabytes of data, and all of that data will be perfectly invisible to the naked eye. But of course, there's a catch. You must use a lossless format like PNG or BMP. If you save it as a JPEG, all that compression scrambles your hidden data instantly. Therefore, the rule of thumb is simple. The number of bits you can hide grows directly with the total number of pixels. Every image becomes a silent storage device or like a visual vault where each pixel contributes just a few invisible bits to the cause. But trying to change millions of pixels by hand would be impossible. Therefore, I used a simple program to do all the heavy lifting for us. First, the encoder needs a cover file. Next, it needs the payload, which is our secret text file. The encoder creates a tiny header, which is a set of instructions that says the secret message is exactly this number of bits long. So the encoder takes this header followed by the main message and joins them together into one string. This is the complete data package that gets hidden. Now for the magic, I don't think I should call it magic, it's just code. The encoder weaves this entire package, first the header, then the message into the least significant bit of each pixel one by one. When it's finished, it generates a brand new image file and on the outside it looks the same, but on the inside it contains both our message and the instructions to read it. So how do we get the message back out? We feed the new image into the decoder, but how does the decoder know where the header ends and the message begins? How does it know to look there at all? The answer is a protocol a secret handshake of some sort. The encoder and decoder programs are built with one unbreakable pre-agreed rule, which is the instructions are always stored in the first 32 bits. And it's not a guess, it's a rule hard-coded into the system. 
Therefore, the decoder immediately goes to that exact reserved location, it reads those 32 bits, and now it knows the exact length of the message. So it reads exactly that many more bits and then stops, perfectly reconstructing the original text without a single error. After exploring the theory, I decided to put this to a test. I took this 512 by 512 PNG image, which was originally 208 kilobytes, and inside it, I embedded 235 lines of Python code, roughly 12,000 characters. And just like the theory predicts, the resulting image looks absolutely identical. But when I checked the file properties, I discovered a paradox that completely surprised me, something that isn't obvious until you actually do it. So we've successfully hidden our secret message inside this image. Visually, it's perfect. No one can tell the difference. But when you look at the file size, something strange has happened. The original image was 208 kilobytes, but our new image is 228 kilobytes. Now hold on, we hit about 12,000 characters of code, which is roughly 12 KB of data. So why did the file size increase by 20 kilobytes? Where did that extra bloat come from? This seems counterintuitive, but the answer reveals a fascinating secret about how file compression actually works. The reason for this paradox isn't the data we added, but the data we broke. You see, a PNG file isn't just a raw grid of pixels. It's a highly efficient compressed archive that relies on finding patterns to keep its size small. And to be efficient, PNG first uses something called a filter. Instead of storing the exact color of every single pixel, it often just stores the difference between a pixel and its neighbor. Imagine a solid blue sky. The filter would store the first blue pixel and then a long, beautiful string of zeros for the rest because the difference between each identical pixel is zero and a long string of zeros is incredibly easy to compress but our steganography code by changing the least significant bit of each color completely shatters this pattern we are essentially adding random noise that visually identical blue sky is no longer a clean repeating sequence of 255 it's now a chaotic mix of 254 255 254 and so on when the png filter tries to find the difference it doesn't get that clean string of zeros anymore instead it gets a messy random looking sequence of data and that random looking data is a compression algorithm's worst nightmare the compressor's job is to find and shrink patterns, but we've destroyed them. It's forced to describe every tiny variation, making the final compressed data much larger than it would have been. We broke the compression. So to solve our mystery, our file size grew by 20 kilobytes because we added our 12 KB message. We paid an 8 KB penalty for making the image's data so random that the PNG compressor couldn't do its job effectively. It's a perfect example of how steganography is visually lossless, but not compressibly lossless. The very act of hiding our data leaves a digital footprint. Not in the pixels we can see, but in the patterns we can't. Now this technique is incredibly powerful. On one hand, it can protect people or journalists or activists, but on the other hand, any tool can be misused. It could also be used to sneak malicious code past antivirus software. Therefore, I want to be super clear. This video and all the information I'm sharing in it is for educational purposes only. The goal is to explore a fascinating concept and learn how digital information really works. This project shows that the line between data and media is kinda blurrier than we think. It proves that sometimes the best place to hide a secret is right out in plain sight. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.